Hey everyone, Chris here again. Going to be doing a gun review today. This is my second uh, purpose-built 1911 from Elite Shooting Centre here in the UK. This is a, uh, it's a Tokyo Marui based weapon, it's sort of loosely based off the MEU gas blowback pistol. Mm -hmm. Show you both sides of it there. It's a uh, reason really, really I went with ESC. Uh, I've done a video review of the last pistol I bought from them. You can uh, click the annotation up here if you want to see that one. That was an all metal build with a used a hurricane kit. Very nice, very nice pistol. I'll advise you to check out the review if you want to see some shooting of that. But this one I went for something. This is actually uh, it's an all plastic gun, and that was something I went for deliberately, not just to save money. I mean there is that side of things, but I wanted something. Something in the 1911, which is my uh, which is my preferred skirmishing pistol. Something that was really going to be as practical as I could get it uh, when it comes to actually skirmishing airsoft um, and sort of all year round performance in a uh, in a GBB sidearm. Now, uh, pretty much every single part is uh, you know when it comes to the slide, the sights, the trigger, the grips, the magwell. Every, you know, everything is basically what I specifically chose to make it tailored to what I wanted in a uh, in a 1911. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera around. We're going to get a different bit of a better close up view of this. Um, again, as with my last purchase from ESC, I have to say, uh, I'll, I, I mean, first off, I will be putting the URL for the website down in the description there, so if you want to check them out, please do so. Um, but really, really brilliant customer service from them. Done a really good job putting the pistol together, so let's have a take a closer look at some of the actual parts. So the first thing a lot of people are probably going to notice is on here, on the frame, you've got these holes running through in the area where the recoil spring sits. Now this is because the frame itself came from the Marui Desert Warrior and stock that comes fitted with a small section of 20mm rail. Now that's good in some ways but the problem is that there are there are some real Li-Fi 1911s that do feature a small section of rail just here but the, the TM version is just that bit deeper, it's thicker when you're fitted in when it's fitted on even and it tends to cause a problem you can't really get holsters if you've got a custom fitted kydex one yes but the the holsters for real 1911s that feature that rail will not fit the marui with the rail that tm makes so i've removed it just for now and that means it can fit into a totally standard government five inch 1911 molded holster with no problems so that's that's that other way. I, I admit it is. It probably looks slightly strange from an aesthetics perspective to a lot of people, but it doesn't really bother me, and it, it's certainly not a performance-related issue. But we'll start from we'll start with the slide. Now that that's the uh, slide from the MEU Marine Expeditionary Unit Tokyo Marui pistol. I went for that because I prefer the trademarks on it to the Night Warrior slide. As I mentioned before, I wanted to keep the uh, Keep the plastic slide, keep that gas efficiency. Um, it's got good cock insulations, front and rear, getting the grip on there. Plain on the right hand side, nice simple trademarks on the left hand side. The sights, try and line that up there. Three dot type, which is what I prefer. These are taken from a Night Warrior, they were a little bit more tricky to get, I had to pay a bit extra for those. But I find the three dots really. It does help you in your aiming, certainly acquiring targets more quickly. And you've also got the step here in the rear sight, which means that you can quite easily hook the gun onto a belt or something to cock it if you've got something in your other hand for whatever reason. Out of barrel, lock the slide to the rear. This again from an MEU, inner barrel, tight bore, 6.03. Really good accuracy. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention actually, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, probably not in this light, but the hot rubber is the 9-ball purple rubber. Really highly recommended upgrade for a, a TM pistol. Standard recoil rod, spring, standard barrel bushing up. Uh, 
the slide lock and release lever totally standard I'm quite happy with that particular one I went for the ambidextrous safety got a ring hammer there from MEU the trigger now this was a uh, another part I specifically went for um, specifically uh, asked Mike over at ESC to put in there for me now I've, I've got really small little hands which is why I like the 1911 because it has that single stack magazine really nice low profile and having that small trigger means you can you can really easily get to it even when you do have small hands like I do and it just means the actual the, the, the distance gap between the back of the grip safety here and the front of the trigger which is obviously the distance between the web of your hand and the tip of your trigger finger is absolutely minimized and that makes things a lot more comfortable for me personally standard magazine catch does the job grip safety profile to fit the ring hammer that all fits in there nicely the grips now these are quite these are something quite nice these are from VZ Grips over in the States. I think these are the Operators 2, I believe, in the military brown. Really nice, made of G10. Got the uh, thumb cut out there, helps you get to the magazine catch when you want to drop the magazine. Hex head screws and bolts for the grips holding them in there. And this is the magazine well. This is actually taken from another one of my guns. This is, uh, they usually come and the mainspring housing and this weld they come with the TM Strike Warrior does does give you that little bit of assistance there when you want to insert a magazine makes it that tiny little bit easier and that is about everything I think yeah all the other internals are stock Tokyo Marui nice and reliable so of course any uh, any GBB pistol review wouldn't be complete without going out and doing some shooting so let's go and do that Okay, so I'm not going to be doing a full-on accuracy test with this thing because I tend to think for that you need some sort of a, a vice or a machine clamp or something like that that can hold the gun in place rather than having to deal with your individual sort of uh, your movements and your inconsistencies. You know, I'm not I'm not an expert shooter, far from it. So I didn't want to have the gun's performance or the reviews on its performance be influenced by the fact that I'm not very good. So. What I am going to do, however, is just put a few mags through the 1911 and basically just to show how how well Mike does put the, these guns together and how, how smoothly it cycles. So I've got a few of my uh, Marui MEU magazines, got some propane in them, 0.2 gram BBs, let's we'll see how it gets on. Doesn't want to doesn't want to lock back. There we go. Yeah, I do tend to find that issue there with the, the not locking back on the last round. Sometimes that can be caused by not fully depressing the trigger all the way down. If you just sort of if you just kind of tap 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 tapping on it, trying to fire as fast as possible, and that can sometimes happen. But I was. Not sure what happened that last magazine, but I find that with pretty much most gas blowback pistols happens every now and again. So certainly not a uh, it's not a negative review on that particular pistol at all. So that happens now and again. End of the day, you're gonna know if there's no BBs coming out at the end of your barrel. So it's easy enough to know. Set it by yourself and just insert a fresh magazine. 
hope you enjoyed the review guys uh, if you want to keep up to date on all the videos that I put on the channel please do check out the Facebook page I'll put the link to that down in the description thank you again for watching coming by I hope you find it useful and I'll see you next time